He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a what? Come on. He's a wonder. Say, he's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a mighty guy. He's a he's a wonder. 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 He's a come on. He's a one. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's a mighty God. He's a wonder. He's a mighty God. He's a one. Uh huh. Yes, Lord. He's a mighty God. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a mighty God. Yes, Lord. He's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, we're the, we're the old school folks. Angels, Bobby, heaven and what a mighty. <laughs> Come on, what a mighty, what a mighty. Ah, angels bow, say, heaven and earth adore. What a mighty. Ah, yes, Lord. Jesus is the God I serve. You got to make it personal for a minute. Jesus is our God, I serve. Ah, demons bow before him. Heaven and Ah, Lord, 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 Lord. Jesus is our God, I serve. Jesus is the God, I serve. Demons bow before him, heaven and earth. What a mighty God. You are greater than anything. I can't let y'all know. That's y'all song too. Just to let y'all know. You are than any. Yes, Lord. You are say You are. Now, it's not just a song, but do you believe it? Say, you are than anything. Say, you are, say, you are than you are than anything. Come on, let's give him praise. Come on, let's give him honor. Is he the greater that's operating in your life? I said, he, is he the greater operating in your life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Truth Church. Good morning, Truth Church. Hallelujah. Good morning to our family and friends on Facebook Live, we greet you in the name of the Lord and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Henry Simons, we greet you in the name of our Lord. And I promise you, you have not tuned in by mistake, but if I die for divine appointment, I'm so excited I can't even get the words out. How many of y'all excited this morning? Yeah, God has a word for you. He has a word for your household and if you're not saved, we want you to be saved. If you fell off, we want you to rededicate your life. Amen. And if you haven't joined the church, hallelujah, we want you to join this church. Why y'all looking sad? 
We can see you on Facebook Live. God sees you. I see you. Amen. And he wants to work some miraculous things in your life. So somebody find somebody who's not smiling. Go hug on them and tell them you love them. Praise God for you. Some of y'all faces. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Give them a high five. Tell them it's good to see you. Hallelujah. Give them a big hug. Hallelujah. 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 Go find somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. God, you are greater. God, you are awesome. Hallelujah. God, you're more than enough. Hallelujah. We thank you on the day, Lord, that we're clothed in our right mind. Hallelujah. And if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Hallelujah. Love you, brother. Hallelujah. Hey. He's greater. He's greater. He's bigger. He's bigger than your situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's stronger than your situation. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, family. He's greater than anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right, all right. All right. Sister Tamika, I want you to get ready. Sister Tamika, I want you to get ready because it's that time to give. Amen. For our tithes and offerings. Amen. What I want to say, as I was over there worshiping God, he spoke this. He said that there, this place, let me get it right, that this place is anointed. Do y'all hear what I said? He said this place is anointed. And in order for there to be an anointed place, there has to be an anointed people. Come on! There needs to be an anointed people. How many of you all anointed in this place? How many of you all are called out? That God got a purpose and a plan. Come on, man. We need y'all too. You anointed? Say, I'm anointed. <laughs> Say, I'm built for this. Hallelujah. Because our God is greater. Amen. Amen. And he's going to do signs, miracles, and wonders through truth, church, and ministries. Amen. And I want to be a part of it. Do you want to be a part of it? Some of y'all still thinking, I'm going to be a part of God's plan for my life. Amen. Amen. Come on, Sister Tamika, as she gets prepared now to bless us with our tithes and offers. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, God. Oh, you're worthy, God. You are a mighty God. You are an awesome God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We lift you up on this morning, Lord. And we say thank you, God. Hallelujah, Lord. I was um, up since 4 o'clock this morning. So I'm not surprised that Elder Kelly called me. The Lord told me to be ready. And I said, okay, God. And I was reading in John 11. And when he said, roll the stone away. And I said, okay, God. There's some things that we are, we're blocking. And he wants us to roll it away. And he said, if, if you believe. And I always say, only believe. And he said, if you believe, but you got to believe. So when it comes to your finances, believe God. If you got bills that need to be paid, believe God. He will take care of you. There's nothing too hard for him. I thank you, God, and our hands are blessed. Our minds are blessed. He said just to bring the tithes 
to him. He will open up a window and pour you out a blessing. It's not your job. It's God. He is our source. When I lost my job, I did not give up on God. I paid my tithes. It only took three weeks to get another one because I trusted him. And he said he'll take care of me. And he's been taking care of me. And I got to give him praise. You can't sit back on God. And don't worry what the economy looks like. He got you. Why would he say to bring your tithes and he will pour it out if he didn't mean it? But you got to trust him with it and obey. But when he said, roll the stone away, I said, Lord, whatever's in my way, whether it's fear, whether it's anxiety, whether it's stress, I got to roll it away because I believe God. So you believe God for whatever it is that you need. Hallelujah, God. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We praise you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. That you are the great I am, God. And so, Lord, as we lift our ties to you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are blessed, Father God. That we walk in overflow, Lord God. That we live in abundance, Father God. Because that's what your word says, Lord God. It don't matter what our account looks like. Father, that's not too hard for you. But you want our obedience, Lord God. So don't let us, Lord God, lack. And Lord God, don't let us hold on, Lord God, but give it to you cheerfully, Father God, that you will bless it, Lord God, and that we are blessed to be a blessing. Lord, we thank you for promotion. We thank you for increase. We thank you for food. We thank you for clothes. We thank you for houses. We thank you for cars. But most of all, we thank you for loving us and being our provider, God. So, Lord God, you do what you need to do in our hearts, Father, that we, Lord God, we will serve you with our money, God. Lord, give us wisdom. Give us wisdom and be good stewards over our money. Because, God, there's nothing that you can't do for us, God. So, Lord, we say thank you. Lord, I thank you on this morning. Lord, I'm full of it. Hallelujah, I'm full of it. In the name of Jesus, we're full of it, Lord God. And we say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you that wealth and riches in everybody's house, Lord God. Everybody that trusts you because your word says that. That wealth and riches flow through our house, Lord God. So we have enough for somebody else, Lord. Because we are vessels fit for your use, Lord God. So have your way in the name of Jesus and we say thank you Lord God we don't take it lightly or for granted but we say thank you for our jobs thank you for the income God whichever way it comes we give back to you Father God because that's what we're supposed to do hallelujah Lord in the name of Jesus I thank you I praise you and I stand in expectation to see somebody's income go up because they trust you their income go higher because they trust you God in the name of Jesus you cannot fail Lord God we trust your word in the name of Jesus I pray amen hallelujah hallelujah Yes, Lord. Ooh, it's sweet, sweet spirits in this place. Come on, can we just lift up our hands? Ah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, the world. Yes, the world. We bow down to say you are God. Every man. We bow down to say you are King. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? Come on, King of fill this place. We just wanna, yeah, just wanna be with you. 
Come on, come on. King of glory. King of Yeah. Just want to, just want to be. Just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Come on, King of glory. Yeah. Just want to be with you. All hands lifted. Come on, say. So we sing hallelujah till you come up. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. Come on, say, sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Dance in your presence. Dance in your presence till you come again. One more time. Sing hallelujah. We dance in your presence. Come on, say, King of glory, King of. Just wanna, just wanna be with you. Anybody wanna be with the King? Come on, lift your hands, King of glory. Just want, just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Come on, lift your hands. This is what I really picked up while we was in worship. When y'all saw me just running around and because when you get into his presence, joy comes in the room. When you get into his presence, Peace comes in the room. But it don't just be here on Sunday when we come together. It's powerful when we come together. But when you are at home and you go before God, peace flows in the room. Strength flows in the room. So in this present time, to be in this presence, just lift your hands. When you lift your hands, that's an act of surrender. You're not surrendering to the enemy. Let me get that straight. You're surrendering whatever that the weight that you hold on, you're surrendering to him. So at this very moment, the king of glory, I came to let you know he's already in the place. I tell you just to lift your hands and surrender to him right now. Give it all to him right now. We sing hallelujah till you come again. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. Come on, say sing hallelujah. And we'll dance in your presence till you. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Oh, come on, y'all. It is. Ah. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship Come on, lift your voice and I will, and I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Yes, sir. As long as I am breathing, I will always Worship. Come on, worship us. Lift your voices and I not be silent. And I will 
worship you for the rest of my life as long as I am breathing I will always worship you here's my worship all of my words that's it receive my worship all of my worship hey here's my words all of my lord receive my worship all of my worship it may not feel good but lord here's my worship all of my worship I got a lot of things going on, but here's my worship. All of my just the voices. Here's my word. Here's my. All of my Receive my. All of my. And I will. That's not just a song, that's that's a vow right there. As long as no matter what's going on, no matter what it looks like, and I will. No matter what it feels like, and I will. Woo, I know it's hard, but I'm still going to worship you. Yes, Lord, as long as. That's why the song says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, lift it up real loud. Let the enemy hear you, and I will. I'm not going nowhere, Lord, but Lord, as long as I'm breathing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Always worship you. Hallelujah. Let's stay right there. Let, let, let's stay right there. Because we got to dwell. We got to dwell. Let's, let's stay right there. Come on, stay right there. Hey, let, the altar is open. The altar, go. Let's stay right there. Let's stay right there. Hallelujah. The altar is open. Hallelujah. Let's worship. Woo. Let's worship. I am hey, let's worship. I will always worship. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you ah, as long as I am you're breathing right now ah, I will always worship you and I will not be silent I will always always hey, always 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 worship you I will always, always, always worship. 
with gratitude, with hands lifted, here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. I give it all to you, Lord. Here's my worship. I lay it down at your feet. All of my worship. Receive my worship. Hey, stay right there. Stay right there, Mike. Y'all stay right, stay right there for a second. Stay right there for a second. It, there, there are many expressions of how we praise God. But as Q was worshiping, two expressions came to my, came to my mind. And see, we have what we call a reactive praise this is a praise in response to what God has already done or something that he has already bought you out of but there's another praise look at somebody and say there's another one there's another one and, and as we are worshiping there's, there's another praise called the proactive praise this, this, this is a prophetic praise that you praise God as a form of prophecy this is a praiser that doesn't wait until it's already done this is the type of praiser who constantly stays in the presence of the most high God and praises God before it happens. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Hey, God. Hey, God. L -l 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. You praise God before the breakthrough. You praise God before the healing. You praise God before your son or daughter gets saved. Y'all that with me? You praise God before the promotion comes. Hey, you, hey, Elder Kelly, you, you praise God before the business blow up, before, before it blow up. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm coming for you. You praise God, Sister Latoya. You praise God, Sister Tasha, before you debt free. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. You praise God. Before your husband come. Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Hey! See, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give God a prophetic praise. You may not be where you want to be, but you gotta praise God for where you're going. You gotta praise God for where you're going before you get there. Pursue God in praise. Pursue God in worship. Hallelujah. That's the kind of worship God wants to see. Listen, I, I, I just believe, I just believe that God is pleased when we praise and worship him for who he is, not what he can do for us. We got to praise God for who he is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
glory to God. That's why David said, I was glad. I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me, come and let us go into the house of the Lord. I speak liberty in this house. I speak freedom to worship God in this house. Hey, God. Hey, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, listen. Listen, listen. Listen. We all have something to be thankful for. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a quick testimony, real, real quick. When we were praising and worshiping God. In the middle, I had my eyes closed. And in the middle of our praise and our worship, my son came walking up to the camera. And, and listen. And listen. I know what I was doing when I was 19. And what he's doing today is not what his daddy was doing when he was 19. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah! Hey, God! Glory to your name, God! Glory to your name, God! Glory to your name, God! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah! Hey, God! Hey, God! Thank you! Thank you, God! Thank you! Thank you, Lord! Hallelujah! Glory to God! See, you gotta grab something. You gotta grab something. And praise God for who He is. Not only for who He is, but what He's doing in your life. Glory to God! Hallelujah! He brought you out of some stuff. He brought you out of some stuff. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, you, hey, you got to keep a testimony. You got to keep a testimony on your heart. Some of us have been through some bad stuff. Some of us have done some bad stuff. But God... I see that shirt Tamika got on. But God! But God! Hallelujah! Glory! I, I want us to get to a place where I don't have to say anything about the altar, but the Spirit of God draws you to this place. That worship draws you to a place but you have nothing but to bow down and worship him for who he is. Oh, I don't I really don't want to leave. I don't want to leave this place. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for who you are. Even right now, Lord God, miracles, signs, and wonders shall follow those who believe. Father, help me to minister your word on this morning. Father, open up my heart, Lord God. Open up my mind, Lord God, so that you may be pleased. Father, my goal is to please you. Word says, whatever we do, whether it be word or deed, we do it to your glory. We do it to your glory. God, I do this to your glory. I do it to please you. So God, we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You all may be, you may be seated. Hallelujah.
typically I, I would not do this. I, I don't do this every Sunday. I, I don't do it intentionally. But this Sunday, as, as I was studying uh, this week, this came to my mind. I want to take a moment to thank leaders of this congregation. I want to thank our elder, Elder Kelly Simmons, for his work in this ministry, not only in this ministry, but outside of this ministry. I want to thank God for our deacons. So we got some ordained leaders here who have been committed to true church and ministries. Elder Kelly, Deacon Charles, Deacon Mack, Deacon Darius, Deacon Carl, in his absence, I thank God for men of God who don't mind praising and worshiping the Lord. Thank God for their commitment and their loyalty, honor and esteem. All of our, all of our ministry leaders, we thank God for the gift that you are to this body. And as we continue to grow together, I say it as we continue to grow together, as one, I believe the Lord is pleased with your work. All of our members, all of those who have faithfully been in this ministry, we thank God for you. I thank God for my wife. My wife knows me better than, better than any of you. I say my wife knows me better than any of you all. She sees me in my good days. She sees me in my tough days. She's always there to support me. And being, being a pastor, you know, you don't have as much luxury and time to spend with your family like you would like to because you're always in study. I thank God for her sacrifice. And she understands the significance of the call. So I honor you this morning. I thank you for who you are to me. Thank you for being my help me. You know, the Lord is good. And his mercy endures forever. And even this morning, we are in line with where I am. And that speaks volumes to the spirit of this house. Because this morning, we're going to begin a new series. And the new series, series is called Pursuing God's Presence. Amen. Come on, y'all. Pursuing God's presence. I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the focus text in the beginning and then we're going to come back we're going to come back to it so uh, let me get uh, Psalms 84, Psalm 84 verses 9 through 12 it's going to be our focal point I'm going to be reading this out of the NIV version of the Bible I need Psalms 84. That's 84, but I need 9 through 12. Amen, amen. The Bible says, look upon our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Keep going. Better is one day in your courts. Hallelujah. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper, hallelujah, in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor no good thing, no good thing, no good thing 
does he withhold from those who walk blameless? Oh, Lord Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. So as we embark on this new series called Pursuing God's Presence, today is the first message of this series. And I want to speak from this point. Dwelling in God's presence. Dwelling in God's presence. I want to give you a quick definition of dwell. Dwell is defined as this, to abide as a permanent resident or to inhabit for a time, to live in a place, to have a habitation for some time or permanence. I'm going to read that again. Dwell is defined as to abide as a permanent resident or to inhabit for a time to live in a place, to have a habitation for some time or permanence. I want to remind somebody this morning that your latter days I said, I said, I said your, your, your latter days will be greater than your former days. Your, your latter days, no matter how old you are today, your latter days will be greater. Glory to God. Your latter days will be greater than your former days. The best of your life is yet to come. It's not over. It's not over. What you're experiencing right now is not your best life. There's more. What you're experiencing right now is not your best life. There's more that God has in store for you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we feel like we have missed the mark and time has passed. You may feel like you're too old or you made a lot of mistakes. God is not through with you yet. I say God is not through with you yet. For some of us, he hasn't even got started yet. For some of us. We still got work to do. We still got work to do. Glory to God. And since you are still dwelling in the earth, you have the ability to dwell in his presence. Hallelujah. Believe that God is pleased without worship. See, every time we come into this place, not only when we come into the house together, but every day of your life, you're supposed to be pursuing God's presence. So we, when we all come together, deliverance can take place. Freedom and liberty can take place. Lives can be changed. Lives can be restored. People can be renewed because the atmosphere is anointed. The atmosphere is set for things to take place. The question is, do you have a desire to dwell in God's presence? Are you thirsty for his presence? The Bible tells us in Psalm 42 and 1, and this text, this particular psalm is authored by the sons of Korah, and that's going to be significant as we get down into the core text. It says, 
42 and 1 says, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. There's a desire to be in his presence. There's a yearning to be in the presence of the most high God. Because when you're in the presence, when you're anointed, there's a shield that's all over you. And when the enemy comes to attack, you're saturated in God's presence. And no matter how big the problems may be, our God is greater than your problem. When you're pursuing his presence, Psalm 16 Verses 1 and 2, it says, keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Apart from you, I have no good thing. None. L -l -l look, at verse, look at verse Psalms, same chapter, verse 11. You show me the path of life in your presence. I said, in your presence, there's fullness of joy. Hallelujah. This is the King James Version. In, 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 your, in, your, in your presence, it's fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The, the question is, have you been pursuing God's presence? And Brother Q Spot on when he was talking about presence not only in the sanctuary, but presence, the presence of God should be everywhere you go. Presence of God should be in your home. The presence of God should be in, on your job. The presence of God should be in Walmart. You understand? The presence of God should be everywhere your feet treads. The presence and the aroma of God should be with you everywhere you go. Because you are saturating your heart and your mind through the Word of God. Yeah. Sifting it through the Holy Spirit. Anybody has a desire? Does anybody have a desire to be in God's presence? Yes, yes, Glory to God. So, our core text comes from Psalm 84. Let me give you a little bit of background. Psalms 84. The sons of Korah in Psalm 84. You all go, to, go ahead and put up Psalm 84. Start at verse 1. The background here, the sons of Korah, Psalm 84, are descendants. Okay, they are descendants of their ancestor Korah. The sons are descendants. You understand? There's a lineage. In number 16, early on, Korah, rebel not only against Moses. You can go back and study number 16, but Korah not only rebelled against Moses, but against God, thinking he could do better work than the both of them. He died as a result of his rebellion. But here it is, the sons of Korah. But the sons of Korah here in Psalm 84 made a spiritual turnaround, and one part of the family became temple doorkeepers and guardians or gatekeepers and this is referenced in you just jot this down this is referenced in first chronicles 9 and 17 just put that down as a reference and another part of the family became musicians and singers in the temple so the sons of korah and here in psalm 84 are descendants who broke the generational curse they had a desire to be in god's presence when, 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 when Korah in Psalm in, 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 in Numbers rebelled against God. So remember we talked about in another sermon, we talked about raising up a Josiah generation. Josiah broke the generational curse from, other, from previous generation. This is what's going on in this text with the sons of Korah. Let's start at verse 1. It says, verse 1 says, how lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul, there it is, my soul. And they, they son, the sons of Korah are the author of this, of this particular psalm as well. My soul yearns, even faints, for the course of the Lord. 
my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Look, look what it says in verse 3. It says, even the sparrow, my God, even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young, a place near, near the altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God. You see, e even the sparrow has a place near the altar. E e even the sparrow can dwell in the house. You understand what I'm saying? See, and see, in Scripture, a sparrow represents insignificance and smallness. That's what a sparrow represents. Let, let's, we, we're going to switch for just a second. Let's go to Matthew. Stay, stay, in, stay in Psalm 84, but put up Matthew 10, verses 29 through 31. I want to show you something real quick. Look, look, look at this. It says, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them, my God, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. Verse 30 says what? And even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many I say you are worth more than many of the sparrows. Glory to God. So, 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 so see, what this text here is saying is this. The temple of the most high God, it is also for those who feel small and insignificant. You don't have to have a title to dwell in the presence. You don't have, a, you don't have to have Deacon Mag a high profile job Amen. to dwell in the presence oh, yeah. of the most high God. You don't have to be making a lot of money. All God needs is a willing vessel to surrender to his will. Yeah. That's all he needs. You don't have to be a leader. You don't have to have a title in the church to dwell in, the, in, in that place. Even those who feel insignificant and small there's a place for you and when, when, when and when we dwell in the presence of God when you dwell in the temple sometimes we come to God with our fears and with our insecurities and he comes to us as king he comes to us as a refuge he comes to us as a big God because God is everywhere. His presence is everywhere. Everything you do, he sees everything you do. His presence is all over this world. There is no way you can go and be out of the presence of God. That's what Jonah tried to do. He tried to want, run away from God. No matter where you run, no matter, no matter where you go, his presence is going to be all around us always until Jesus return. So why not dwell in his presence while we have an opportunity? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and see, that's why when we come into God's house to worship, yes, yeah, some, some of us may feel insignificant some of us may feel down some of us may even feel fear uh, 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 feel uh, fearful but when you depart from the presence of the most high God you should be feeling renewed you should be feeling revived you should be feeling strengthened because it's not about what you can receive it's about who God is We worship God because of who he is and not what he can do for us. We worship him because he created us. He's the creator of the universe. That's why it's significant when we give all of our worship to the Lord. And see, in the 70s for some, in the 80s for some, Y'all, y'all remember? Don't you don't have to raise your hand, but so so some of us have been to concerts. 
Yeah, some of us have been to concerts, whether it be Marvin Gaye, whether it be the Osley Brothers, you understand? I'm going to find you now. I'm going to find your generation. Michael Jackson, you understand? Jackson 5, whoever it is. Uh, Drake, you understand? Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? We, we have been to, to concerts, e e e even wrestling. I remember my father used to take me to uh, see Ric Flair. Yes, saw. Yes, he did in the Four Horsemen. And there was just something about being in that atmosphere when you saw them. I mean, you, you, you felt a little bit different around those people. I mean, y'all you, you, seen where, where people have been at Michael Jackson concerts and they faint because of Michael's presence. Y'all see where I'm going, right? Come on, y'all, come on, y'all talk to me. Now, we, some of us have been at concerts. I mean, we've dressed down and, and just put our makeup on and put on our best suits and we go into the presence of celebrities. And there's something about those celebrities that, that you know, drew us in. Well, even back then, there was a draw. But what, what about the presence of the one that created those people? What about, what about the presence of the one that created that talent, cre created that gift that's in the earth? The presence of God is significant. And that's, that's, that's something that we have to constantly pursue. And, wh and when you pursue the presence of the Most High God in your own house, when you pursue the presence of the Most High God in your own time, when we come to the worship service, when we come to the house of God, there should be an explosion. There should be an explosion because you've been spending time pursuing his presence all week. And when you get to the house, the worship service, the word, there's receptiveness. There's healing that takes place, healing of the mind, healing of the body that takes place. Deliverance takes place. That's, that's what I'm saying. Even if I, as I minister, we don't have to wait until an altar, is, an altar call is called. You can be drawn to the altar at any time. That's when you know that the atmosphere is, is saturated. Men and women begin to be drawn, even as I'm ministering the word. If you feel that you need to come to the altar, come. That's the liberty yes, that we have in this place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look at verse 4. It says, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are what? They are ever praising you. It says, blessed are those who strength is in you whose hearts are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca they make it a place of springs the autumn rains also cover it with pools now 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 now, now Baca in the Hebrew means weeping so so, so in essence it, it, essentially the text is saying that they're passing through the valley of weeping and some of us are, have been weeping these days. Some of us have been in a, in a, in a, in a, a weeping season, but, but the key to the text is they're passing through. You understand? They're, 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 they're passing through. They're not living there. They're passing through. And a few of us are in the valley of weeping. But you must pass through. Don't remain there. The valley of weeping is temporary. I said the valley of weeping is temporary because weeping may endure for a night. But joy come in the morning. Hallelujah. You're going through a weeping season, but it's temporary. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep moving. He'll turn your morning. I say he'll turn your mourning into dancing. He'll turn your problems into joy. Just keep going. Don't, don't dwell in a weeping season. Glory to God. That's why David tells us in Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, but I rod. And our staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. 
He prepares a table before me in the presence of thy enemies. Thou anointest my head with all. My cup, my cup, my cup runneth over. Look, listen, it said, look, surely, somebody say surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley, I don't stop. Baca is a valley of weeping. You're passing through. Don't dwell in that pit. Keep going. Keep moving because God, because God has work for you to do. God has work for you to do. There's a season of your life where we're going to weep, we're going to cry, we're going to experience pain, but pass through. Keep going. Don't stand. Don't stand in the middle of your pain. Don't stand in the middle of your grief. Keep going. Keep pursuing God. Keep pursuing his presence. See, see, the sons of Korah are hungry for the presence of God. See, this is focused on the temple. But as, as we said earlier, everywhere we go, we have the Holy Spirit. We have the presence of God on the inside of us. So we are carriers of his Holy Spirit. Glory to God. So everywhere you go, when you walk up in the barber shop and they're playing all this foolish music and they're playing all these foolish movies because of your aroma, you can walk into the barber shop or the salon, they're talking all this gossip. And you can walk up in those spaces and that aroma, glory to God, the presence of God fills the room. And all of a sudden they change the channel. <sighs> All of a sudden, they change the channel because of the presence of the Most High God. You're walking on your jaws. You're walking in break room. You know Joker's cussing. They're cussing up a storm because of the presence and the anointing of God is on your life. When you walk up in those break rooms and you walk up in those converse conversations, all of a sudden, You have the ability to shift the atmosphere. When the presence of the Holy Spirit, when the presence of God is on you, you can go in rooms and you can shift the atmosphere. We've got to be change agents everywhere we go. In other words, the atmosphere, the, hey, hey, just like a thermostat. You're just like a thermostat. You have the, your, the, the presence that's on you have the ability to change the temperature. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So th this is what the sons of Korah are pursuing. Look what it says in verse 7. It says, they go from strength to strength to each appears before for God in Zion. It says, hear, hear my prayer. Lord God Almighty, listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Look, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Better is one day in your courts. Glory to God. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what assignment I have. That's what they're talking about. It doesn't matter what position I hold. Even if I have a title or I don't. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in a tent or the wicked. So Brother Keith and others who are at the door, you're in a good place. You're in a good place. If you're a greeter, you're in a good place. If you, if you open up the door for your people to come into the house, you're in a good place. 
I'd rather be scrubbing the floor as long as I'm in the presence of the Most High God. Hey, hey, Brother Leroy cleans the, the, the building. I'd rather be cleaning the house of God. Hallelujah. His presence. Are you thirsty for the presence of God? Because when the, when the presence, when the, when the Spirit of God is on you, you have the ability to change circumstances. See, the presence of the Lord is a shield. Favor and abundance. We talked about that. Go to verse 11. Look what it says. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing. Hallelujah. No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. Does he withhold from those who walk blameless? No good thing. Whatever your heart's desire, whatever you desire, whatever you desire to have, he don't withhold it from you. A lot of times we withhold it from ourselves because we're not ready for what God wants to do in our lives. I remember when T.D. Jakes made, gave this example about his father wanting to give him this watch. Thousands of dollars. It cost thousands of dollars. It was a very expensive watch. But his father said, I want to give it to you, but you're not ready because of its value. He said, you're not ready to handle, because of your age, you're not ready to handle a multi-thousand dollar watch. I'm not ready to give it to you. Because if I give it to you, you're not going to respect this value. So oftentimes, the, the scripture says, no good thing does he withhold from those who walk blameless. But a lot of times, God doesn't release because he re if he releases it, you don't know how to handle it. In, in other words, what, what, what T.D. Jake's father was telling him, you're not mature enough to handle the value of this watch. And, say, and see, God, God wants to release. He wants to release it to you. But you got to be ready to receive and understand the significance and the value of what he wants to release. In other words, it's coming. It's coming. It's there. You understand? You, he may not come when you want him to come. He may not come, Brother Mickey, when you want him to come. But, but he is an all-time God. I, I say he, he may not come when you want him to come. He's going to come in his time and not in yours. He's going to promote you when you, when you, not when you want it, but when he thinks you're ready for it. He's not going to promote you if you're ready to abuse the power that he's getting ready to give to you. Not going to release it until you're mature enough to handle the blessing. It's there. The scripture tells us no good thing shall he withhold from us. Go to verse 12. O oh Lord Almighty, bless is the man. Bless is the man who trusts in you. And for those who may have challenges in your finances, keep trusting God. Regardless of what your bank account looks like, keep trusting the Most High God. Sister Tamika said it in her prayer about her job. Three days later, didn't you say three days later? Three, three weeks later. That number three. Yeah, three. 
three, eight months for me. But I never stopped giving. I never stopped trusting God. And see, listen to me. Listen to me. This happened to me. This is a testimony. This is a testimony of telling you. I don't think, I don't think Brother Mickey has heard. This is a testimony. This is a testimony. Listen, listen to me. He had to strip me from where I was to get me to a place of maturity. So sometimes he's not going to give it to you until you get to a place of maturity. So eight months without a job, what the Lord was doing was he was preparing me to receive. He was, he was, he was maturing me. He was maturing my spirit. So when I bless you with this high-profile job, you don't understand how to handle it. God, y'all got to hear what I'm saying. When I bless you, when I put you on the news, and when I put you with the mayor, and when I put you with council, and all these things are going on, you don't know how to handle that. Five years ago, I don't know if I could have handled that. Ten years ago, I don't know if I could have handled that. I wasn't ready. God had to put me in a place where a job or no job, you got to trust me. Job or no job, you got to trust me. You got to trust who I am. And during that time, during that time, I didn't stop. I was passing through. <laughs> Y'all not talking to me. <laughs> I was passing through. I was passing through. I was passing through. No job. I didn't stop though. I didn't sit and waddle in my in my what insecurity. I didn't wallow in my grief that I was grieving because I, I gave all my time, a majority of my life, to this place. But God was maturing me. He was maturing me. I mean, you catch this. He was maturing me to a place. I'm gonna take you to, to another level, but I gotta I gotta test you. Oh, glory to God. I gotta test you. I got to test you. That's what happened when Jesus, when, when John prepared the way for Jesus. Y'all know it. When John prepared the way, to, for, the way for Jesus. What did Jesus have to do? The Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness. The Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. He was testing Jesus because even Jesus himself had to get to a level of maturity. And that's what the sons of Korah, are, they have a desire to dwell in God's presence. That's what they want to do. And when God sees your desire, when he sees your true, true desire, then he begins to release things into your life. He releases things into your life. Okay, she ready. She ready for it. Release. I'm releasing it. Oh, y'all, I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it. I'm releasing. I'm releasing. Because now you're in a place of maturity. And you see what I had to do? I had to see God's presence. Like I've never had to do before. And as I look back on that, God, I see what you were trying to do. You were trying to get me to a certain place where job or no job. You got to trust me. You got to trust me. Three weeks later, three weeks later, three weeks later, Tamika, whatever, whatever you are desiring, whatever you want, you got to seek God first. Chris, whatever you want, Sharon, whatever you want, whatever your desire is, we got to see God's presence. We got to pursue God's presence first. As he sees you pursuing him. Even in your weeping season. Hey, you know what the Lord showed me? The Lord showed me something in that. And I need, I need to say this to you. I need to say this to you. He showed me something in that.
Go back to 4 through 6, starting at verse 4. I want to show you something, then we're going to close on this. I want to show you something. Go back to Psalm 84, verse 4. I want, to, I want you to put that up for me. The Bible says, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. It says, blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. And here it is. As they pass through the, the valley of Baca, they make it a place of spring. So, so in other words, that was a dry place. Your job was a dry place until you got there. Hallelujah. <laughs> wherever you go, wherever you go, they make it a place of springs. In other words, wherever you grow, things should grow. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're at True Church, True Church should be blossoming because you're here. You're supposed to make it grow. You're supposed to make it mature. Hallelujah. Wherever you go, I know Deacon Mac has a desire to go into the prisons and minister. But when you go, you're going to make them grow. Oh, yeah. See, see, whatever, whatever the ministry, whatever, whatever God has given you, whatever he's put on the inside of you, the, 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 it's, it's designed to make other things grow. It's, it's, to, it's to make dead places become alive. So any dead place you go to, it should be alive because you're in the house. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that because of your pursuit of God's presence, dry places will become alive in Jesus' name. Dead places will grow in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You will walk into rooms and because of your presence, everything has to align. Everything has to align because favor just walked in the room. Joseph just walked in the room. Everywhere you go, favor and abundance follows you. And the weeping that you've been having, those tears are designed to produce your own harvest. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Those tears that you've been shedding as long as you don't stay there, are designed to produce your own harvest to get you to a level of maturity of where you've never been before. He has a desire to take you to a new level in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jaden, when you all go to school, when our young people are in school, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, those are just seasons of your life. When you're passing through, what spirit are you going to leave? Even our jobs, we're just passing through. What presence are you going to leave when you pass through? Is it going to be worse off? Or is it going to be better? Is it still going to be dead or is it going to be alive? Business, businesses, Brother Leroy, businesses, I'm telling you all, will grow because of the favor and the presence that's on you. You the head. It flows from the head. Whatever your heart's desire is, 
Remember, animals came to Noah at the ark. Whatever your desire is, it's going to come to you because of the presence. Just, just, look, look, come, think about it now. You got fish. <laughs> come on now. Everything was destroyed. How we got fish today if they ain't going to ark? Even fish. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but even fish came to Noah. Listen to me. Hear the revelation in this. Things that you think you can't control going to come to you. Things that you think you can't control going to come to you, T. They're going to come. They're going to come to you because of the presence. The presence of God. People are going to speak for you when you're not in the room. Even with oppositions, it, it, we, even when op, that's what Elder Keller was talking about last week, even when opposition rises in the room, that's going to be somebody said, no, that's not, that's not, that's not Henry. That's not Charles. Now, no, that's not Danny. No, I know him. People are going to speak for you when you're not in the room because the presence of God is on you. Yeah. Hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying, Ivy? The presence, when the presence of God, when you're pursuing God, when you're hungry for God, he doesn't forget that. His word Cannot lie. Whatever you're desiring, whatever career you're desiring, whatever business you're desiring, whatever issue you got going on, whether it be in your family, whether it be in your, your relationship with your husband or your wife, whatever you're desiring, focus on pursuing God's presence. And those dead things that you have going on in your life, God is going to what? Open the door. He's going to make them alive. In Jesus' name. Listen, you, this is what God does. And I got I to gotta, I gotta leave. This, this is what God does. For those who, who understand the bidding process, when you, when you what is what we call a, a RFP, request for proposal. When you, put, when you put a project out, like for, this, for example, the city of Columbia, Mickey knows a lot about this, the city of Columbia, we do major projects. And what we do is we put a request, it's either a request for qualifications with RFQ or a request for proposal, uh, uh, RFP. You put them out so people can bid on the project. You understand? And sometimes, you know, when people come, they bid on the project and they don't get the project. Let me tell you what God does. You may, not have, you may not have received the award then. You understand? But what God does, as you pursue his presence, oh, yeah. same people that denied you then are, call, are calling you now. You understand? The same people that denied you back then are calling you right now because you should have selected me in the first place. You understand? But God, See, they denied you back then. Maybe you weren't ready, but now you're ready. And when you get ready, okay, I, you know why? I, I remember, I remember Brother Ricky. I remember Brother Ricky bidding on the contract. It was something about Brother Ricky that we like. Let me call him because these other folks that we got, I don't think they're working out. Let me call Brother Ricky because Brother Ricky, I saw something on him. Hallelujah. He'll make those same people come back to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. He'll make the same people that tried to, de to deny you. They have no other choice but to approve you because God's presence is all over you. Sister Tasha be up in the uh, classroom teaching. Kids can't stay out of the classroom. There's something about Sister Tasha. 
that's not like the other teachers and all these students want to be around Sister Tasha because there's something on the inside of you that's different. You got kids coming from other classes don't even want to be in their class. They want to come to your class. Because God's presence is all over you. I said, when we, when we pursue God's presence, everything your heart's desire, Sister Tamika, everything you desire in Isaiah will come forth. But you got to get to a level of maturity where you can handle what God wants to release. If you can't handle it, if you're not mature, if you're not pursuing him, he's not going to release it. He's not going to release something to you if you're going to destroy it. If you're not going to appreciate it. See, see, God, this is my personal testimony, y'all. He took me through eight months so I can appreciate the next position. <laughs> this, this will attest to you because you know exactly what I'm, where I'm talking about. City Hall, where I park. Look, I, I, hey, hey, I ain't never told y'all this. The space that I, that's reserved for me this is a cliche now. Don't get, this, this is a cliche. But the, the space that, that I park in every day is, is space 23. <laughs> Greatest of all time, baby. Hey, they gave me 23. Hey, I'm the GOAT, baby. Huh? Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Brother Mickey, you know, my, wife, my wife is my witness. I used to drop jail off every morning at Drew High School. Y'all know my testimony. Some of y'all heard it, some of y'all haven't. And I knew, there, I knew there was an opportunity. So what I started to do was, there was a parking space. The way I parked, right? There was a parking space outside of the gate. And every morning, I used to come through there about 8 o'clock. And a lot, of, a lot of the spaces in front of City Hall were vacant. So I used to go to the space outside of the gate and park, and I would pray. I said, Lord, if this is your will, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be outside the gate. I want to be inside the gate. <laughs> and as I prayed, I got the call because God was maturing me as a believer. He was maturing me to where I got to a place Okay, now yeah. he can handle what I'm yeah. about to give to him. Yeah. Yeah. That he won't take advantage. Yeah. He won't take advantage of the system. That he won't take advantage of people. Hallelujah. But his heart will be right for the people in the position. Yeah. And his desire was to help people. God had to get me to that place where if you give it to me, Lord, I'm going to be grateful for it. I'm going to do everything I can, not to please man, but to please you. Oh, yeah. That was my desire. I just wanted to please God. And it, got, it got me to a place where, yeah, now he's ready. Paper and abundance was released into my life. And I thank God for where I am. But if it had not been for God on my side, I don't know where I would be. If it had not been for the goodness of God on my side. See, when we praise God, we got to think about things like that. We got to think about all the stuff, all the mess that God pulled us out of. And he's gotten us to a place of maturity. And now, yeah, 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 it's time. That's what God wants to do for some of us. It's time. It's time. The altar is open. Come on, Q. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. I love you, God. I'm pursuing your presence, God. With all of my being, Lord, with everything I have, I'm pursuing you, God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for maturing me, Lord. Thank you for blessing my family, Lord God. Thank you for blessing my wife, Lord. My children in the name of you. Father, thank you. Thank you so much, Father. I couldn't have done it without you. I, I laid out my life for you, Lord, because you did it for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I find space yes, for God. what I treasure. Yes, God. I make time for what I want. Hallelujah. I choose my yes. priorities. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus, you're yes, God. my number. One. Glory to God. So I will. Yes, come on, Terry. Make room yes. for you. Hallelujah. I will. Glory to God. Prepare for two. So you. Yes, God. Don't feel that you can live yes, here. God. Please live in me. I will prepare hey. for two Glory so you yes. don't feel God. that you yes. live here yes. Yes. in me. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Glory to your name, God. We say yes to your will, God. We say yes to your way, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. I will always, Q. I will always. Come on, man. We got the Terry, man. Hallelujah. Be silent. I will always yes, worship yes. you. Yes, God. As long, as, long as, as I'm breathing, God. I am breathing. Yes. I will always, always worship you. Hey, and I will not be silent. I will always. Worship you as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Here's my worship. Yes, Hallelujah. All of my worship 
receive my worship all of my worship is my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my worship And all that is within me, bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. For I was born with a prayer, yes, placed yes, in the on, earth on, just worship. to give let's you praise. Born with a purpose, placed in let's the earth the just to give you praise. For I was born with a purpose, placed in the earth just to give you praise. For I was born with a purpose, placed in the earth just to give you praise. Created to worship, created to give you praise. Created to worship, I give you all of me. Created. To worship, created to give you praise, created to worship, I give you all. Father, Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. And our desire, just like the sons of Korah, is to be in your presence yeah. Father help us God to pursue your presence in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you. Father sanctify this house sanctify this house Lord God because this house is a house of prayer you know, whatever your people Lord God are desiring in their hearts Father we decree and declare that it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, they've been weeping, but weeping may endure for a night. And joy, Lord God. Joy comes in the morning, Lord God. So God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We praise you in advance, Lord God, for what you're going to do and what you've already done in our lives, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to give you all of our glory. All of your glory, Lord God, belongs to you. Father, we glorify you, Lord God. We magnify you, Lord God. And we praise you for who you are. Father, we ask, we ask it in the magnificent, in the mighty name, that name that's above every name. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So deliver us on today, Lord God. Miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord God, shall follow those who believe, Lord God. I'm praying for miracles, for signs and wonders to happen in each of our lives in Jesus' name. So God, we thank you. Father, we praise you now. And we glorify your name. I say we glorify your name. 
And that's a sign of agreement, Lord God. You said when two or three are gathered together in your name, Lord God, and I believe I got the people that's together with me on this morning, Lord God, when two or three are gathered together in your name, Father, you shall be in the midst of them. So we declare, declare God, that you're in the midst of all of us. And your spirit reigns in our hearts and in our minds forevermore. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give God some praise right there. Hallelujah. Yes, God. How yes, sir. Give yes, sir. You yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to your name. I'll bless you yes, God. forever. I'll give you praise. I'll bless you forever. Yeah. I'll give you And I give, give you praise. Come on, lift your hands and say, say, I'll bless, I'll bless forever. I give you praise. For I was born with purpose. Place in the air just to give you praise. Born with a purpose. Place in the air just to give you praise. For I was born with a purpose. Place in the air just to give you praise. Born with a purpose. Place in the air just to give. I'll give you praise. I'll bless you forever. I'll give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you need. Whatever your inquiry is. God has what you need. Lord, I thank you. Cast all of your cares upon him. Lord, I thank you. Because he cares for you. Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. Nobody but you, Lord. Mm. Nobody but you, Lord. Mm. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Mm. Uh, my God. Mm. Thank God. you. That's a good one. That's a good one, Q. Yeah, yeah, sir. Lord, yeah, that's a good one, man. Thank you. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord.
just want to thank you, Lord. Mm, you've been so Sometimes we got to tarry. God is good. Is God good? Come on, let's give God some praise. Glory to God. I, I don't want to conclude. Trust me, but we're going to finalize our services today a few things I want to share briefly. I want to keep them online for just a second. So I've been uh, in prayer about this. I've also consulted with um, our advisors and I've consulted with our leaders. And um, what we're going to do is also talk with the music ministry uh, amongst others. Um, starting uh, in uh, in September, the first Sunday in September, we're going to push our worship service time back to 9 a.m. instead of 8.30. Um, 9 a.m. instead of 8.30. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, and, and, and one of the reasons why I want to do that is... Um, we do have some people that are traveling 30 to 45 minutes to get here. I thank God, and I thank God for that. And I just want to give them a little bit more time to get here in the morning. Now, that does not mean, let me just say, let me just be clear. That does not mean that your time goes back to 9.30. No, 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 that don't mean that. We start church at 9 a.m. Amen. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep our um, live starting at 9 a.m. Just to be consistent. So we're going to be going live. We, we will remain live at, at 9 a.m. Uh, as well. So that will start the first Sunday in September. Amen. Amen. We all in agreement with that? Great day. All right. God bless y'all. Do you have, do y'all have that flyer for the I Do Ministry? So the I Do Ministry is going to be doing a dinner date night. Um, and that's going to be Saturday, August 26th at 6 p.m. I know Dick and Call uh, is away uh, for drill for the, for the next couple of weeks. But it's going to be Saturday. August 26th at 6 p.m. It's going to be at Hickory Tavern Restaurant downtown Columbia. Um, please, my wife is here uh, today. I know uh, Sister Tiffany Regi and, and Brother Reginald, along with Sister Bridget and Deacon Carr, out of town. But my wife is here. Uh, please get with her. We want you to RSVP on, to, to, on today. I'm sorry. Where is it at? By Target. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Not downtown. Thank you for correcting me. Uh, Hickory Tavern on Goddess Fair Road uh, by the Target there is the location. I apologize. 
But we want you to RSVP uh, today uh, with my wife. Uh, we want to fellowship with uh, our married couples uh, as well. Those who are seeking to get married as well. If you want to join us uh, as well, we want to include you. Amen. Amen. And amen. We want to include those who are actively engaged, not actively engaged to be married. Uh, so we want to make that clear. Amen. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, we want you to RSVP uh, for that on today. Today is the last day. We just need to know in preparation to, you know, for the um, for the restaurant. Uh, and, and I think lastly, I sent out an email uh, to the ministry leaders, the elders and deacons. We will have uh, some training um, right 15 minutes after service on September 10th. Um, and it's going to be in a small sanctuary. Um, some training slash meeting uh, on September 10th. If you did not get the email, let me know that I may not have the correct email, but the email should have went out to all the ministry leaders and deacons and elders as well. That's on September 10th. We're going to start that 15 minutes after worship service on September 10th. Amen. All hearts and minds clear. All hearts and minds clear. All right, Father, we thank you for the time that you've allowed us to come together once again. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that peace be upon us as, as we leave your place, but never ever your presence, Lord God. We glorify you and let your presence be with us, not only in, in this building, in this sanctuary, in this house, but everywhere we go, the presence of God will be with us. Father, we thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.